how to use the flute fill, also known as the paint bucket tool. Open an image and switch to the flute fill tool. Its configuration panel appears. It allows you to select the number of source points, the matching mode, and its tolerance. Click on the image. This is not a trivial case and the result is not optimal. We may need to switch to the multi-point mode. Do it. Note that after clicking now, a control point appears and you can freely drag it around or change the values in the configuration panel. Click again at a different place to designate a second flute source. Another thing you can change is the color or use a more complex fill style. You can use any number of source points. To remove a source, drag it out of the canvas. Let me open another image that is more suitable to demonstrate how the matching modes work. I'll start in the multi-point mode. The RGBA mode takes all color channels into account. The U mode disregards brightness and saturation. The brightness mode on the other hand disregards U and the alpha mode only considers level of transparency. The tolerance setting controls the accuracy of the selected matching mode. Be aware that using fluid fill will usually make smooth edges not so smooth, because a pixel is either filled or left alone. When filling, you can also adjust transparency of a color. And if you are using a semi-transparent color, the replace blend mode may be of use. Now click on the Tool Presets button and select Manage Custom Presets. In the window, click on the Create New Preset icon. Name your new preset and then carefully fill the Edit Tool box with Retouch underscore Flute Fill. Use uppercase letters and no spaces. Click on the new item in the Tool Presets pop-up menu. Note that the Retouch Tool configuration is above the Flute Fill configuration. Instead of simple filling, you can now brighten, darken, desaturate, colorize the affected pixels and more. Experiment with the available combinations. Unlike the plain flute fill, the retouch modifier preserves the features of the affected pixels, namely their gradient and the reflection. Also, the edges remain smooth because the pixels were not overwritten, merely affected by the selected operation. Here you can see the smooth edges. The flute fill tool can also be used with a selection. If I create an ellipse selection and then use the flute fill tool, only the selected region is affected. So this is what the current flute fill tool can do. I hope you will find it useful.